Stuart Butterfield, original name Dharma Jeremy Butterfield, born March 21, 1973, Lund, British Columbia, Canada, Canadian entrepreneur who co-founded both Flickr, 2004, a photo-sharing site, and Slack Technologies Incorporated, 2009 a dot-com enterprise that provided organizations with Slack, an internal messaging service that facilitated employee collaboration. Butterfield's parents, who lived in a commune in a small British Columbia fishing village, named their son Dharma Jeremy Butterfield. When he was 12 years old, he legally changed his name to Daniel Stewart Butterfield. In 1978 the family left communal living and moved to Victoria the provincial capital. Within a few years they purchased a computer, and Butterfield became immersed in that technology. He earned a BA in philosophy, 1996, from the University of Victoria, and a master's degree, 1998, in philosophy from the University of Cambridge, with an emphasis on philosophy of biology cognitive science, and philosophy of mind. In 2000 Butterfield joined his friend Jason Klassen's startup, gradfinder.com, and although the dot-com bubble had just burst, the concern was sold for a substantial profit. Two years later Butterfield married blogger Katerina Fake, and together with Klassen they founded Ludicurp which developed a multiplayer online game called Game Neverending. The struggling enterprise was abandoned by Ludicurp in favor of an image-sharing service, developed by Cal Henderson and Eric Costello, that was christened Flickr. The trailblazing photo-sharing site debuted in 2004, and was innovative in helping to usher in the Web 2.0 era in which interactive applications began to enhance static web pages. In 2005 Yahoo purchased Flickr, and Butterfield was hired at Yahoo as general manager of Flickr and senior director of project management. He and Fake left Yahoo in 2008, the same year that they dissolved their marriage. In 2009 Butterfield founded TinySpec, with $1.5 million raised in seed money. The following year the company debuted its first product, Glitch, a quirky online game. But the expensive-to-run game failed to attract a large audience or a buyer, and was scrapped in November 2012. In 2009 Butterfield helped establish Slack Technologies, and became its CEO. At the end of 2012, work began on the Slack app, which allowed users to create specific channels devoted to real-time communication. The preview release appeared in August 2013 and was an instant hit. The app remained live until the go-to-market release in February 2014. Businesses involved in the internet, media, and advertising signed up for subscriptions, and Butterfield attributed the success of Slack to a strategy that made customer feedback the centerpiece of its focus. By 2015 Slack Technologies ranked among the so-called unicorns, privately held startup companies with a valuation greater than $1 billion. Four years later Butterfield oversaw its becoming a public company. In an unusual move, however, no new stocks were offered and only existing shares were made available. After the first day of trading, the market value of Slack Technologies was about $19.5 billion. In 2021 the software company Celesverse acquired Slack in a deal that was valued at about $28 billion. As per the terms, Slack continued to exist as an entity, and Butterfield remained its CEO. In 2009 Butterfield helped establish Slack Technologies and became its CEO. At the end of 2012, work began on the Slack app, which allowed users to create specific channels devoted to real-time communication. The preview release appeared in August 2013 and was an instant hit. The app remained live until the go-to-market release in February 2014. Businesses involved in the internet media and advertising, signed up for subscriptions, and Butterfield attributed the success of Slack to a strategy that made customer feedback the centerpiece of its focus. By 2015 Slack Technologies ranked among the so-called unicorns, 
privately held startup companies with a valuation greater than $1 billion. Four years later Butterfield oversaw its becoming a public company in an unusual move. However, no new stocks were offered, and only existing shares were made available. After the first day of trading, the market value of Slack Technologies was about $19.5 billion. In 2021 the software company Celesverse acquired Slack in a deal that was valued at about $28 billion. As per the terms, Slack continued to exist as an entity, and Butterfield remained its CEO. Subscribe to our channel for more similar videos.